Hey everybody, Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. Uh, today marks our beginning segment of our uh, AutoZone tent, our Gila window tent. Yeah, Gila. Uh, so I got this at the hardware store, at the AutoZone store, the parts store. They sell this stuff everywhere. You can get the Black Magic from Walmart. I mean, probably honestly comes from the same place. Uh, this is the Heat shield single dyed layer. Uh, it claims that it's going to block 42% of heat. We're going to test that out. Uh, it claims that it's 5% tint. We're also going to test that out as well. Blocks 99% of UV. I imagine so. Uh, says it reduces glare and it's scratch resistant. Now here is something that you got to keep in mind. A lot of people think that they're going to, you know, do it themselves cheap. You know, save some money. Uh, I believe this is like 15 bucks. I'd have to look at my receipt, but if you look here, 24 by 6.5 feet. So six and a half feet is only going to get you one set of doors. So if you have a four door car, guess what? Uh, you're going to need two of these just to do the roll ups. And that's assuming that you're totally satisfied with the result you got on the first go round. Uh, we're going to basically the long term plan with this is test how quickly it fades. Uh, so today is April 27th. 2024 uh, it's not gonna make it to 25 I, I i doubt it anyway um so come over here to our light meter it's tent check pro um this is basically the same company that makes a little over you know clip over the deals that uh, law enforcement uses and so what you do is you put it together you see it's 100 percent right so that means it's ready to go we're gonna just verify that it's calibrated it comes with these checks, so we're looking for about 27.8. Um, so we'll put this little slide on there. And we should see something about 27, 27.1. So we're less than 1% away. Uh, so that's well, well within tolerance. Um, let's take our Gila tent. This is fresh. It feels like rubber. Uh, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> it looks so blue. Let's, uh, let's see our meter here needs to reset. Let's see if it really meters 5%. Ha, 6.9. Uh, so already out of the box, this is technically, it's tolerable, it's within spec, but it's not that great. If anything, you wanna see a hair darker than what it's advertised as, uh, rather than lighter. But, you know, what, what are you gonna do? Um, so I don't know if you can see this. Can you put the camera up to it? I don't know if you can tell how blue this film is. It, it looks ridiculous. The optical clarity on this is, is really trashy too. It's, you know, it's, uh, when you're looking through it, it's, it's just kind of distorted, right? Um, bring it, bring it back in here. Let's, uh, this is some good quality. Oh, we're stuck. Some good quality, uh, carbon tint. This is, you know, basically what I use. This is my entry level film. Uh, we're gonna see right about 5%, pretty much dead on. You wanna put money on it? 5.3, right on. So, turn this off here. So if you hold this up, you can see you've got like a nice natural color to it. It's not blue. Um, you can look through it. I mean, the optical clarity is much, much better. Um, yeah, so we're going to go get ready to, uh, to tint this window. So stick around. All right, guys, we're back. I got this little demo door here. It's rigged up to a, uh, to a power supply so we can roll the windows up and down. Uh, junkyard 04 Avalon, uh, thanks to Lane's towing, 
I got these, uh, I got I got a set of doors, but the other door's not here. Uh, kind of rigged up here. We just got it up against the garage door uh, because I didn't want to take the time to make a jig for this door because it's going to go outside uh, and fade. The old AutoZone tent's going to fade out on us. And uh, yeah, didn't want to mess with all that work for nothing. So all I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning the window. I'm not super worried about contamination or anything because... It's just a test door, but still, give you guys kind of an idea of the steps I take. And we'll try not to try not to ramble too much. We have, I split these up, so this is my good tent here, and this is my AutoZone tent here. There we go. Flush that bottom out. So. Just trying to film here, bud. Uh, so anyway, um... We're just going to two-stage these. I prefer to bottom load, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to have a little gap. We're going to have a gap over here, and I did that on purpose. That's so we can test the glass. We should have actually tested it right now, but... Because um, bare glass is not clear. A lot of people think that it is, but it's usually between 70 and 80% tint already. Uh, it just depends on the make, model, manufacturer, the glass, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to air peel. I should have just taken the door panel off. My goodness. So we're just going to air peel this AutoZone tent here. I, I really don't like this stuff. It's been a really, 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 really long time since I've touched it. it uh, it's just very rubbery, just, I don't know. Let's see if I can get the liner. Uh, hang on a second here. Bear with me. Oh, almost. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Also, if it has a weak adhesive, it's not going to want to stick, so we'll see. This is not how I do a customer car, but uh, I don't like air peeling stuff like that. Uh, just too much chance of contamination. I guess one nice thing is it's gonna tuck right into the seal where we want it. Just. I don't think the camera's gonna show it, but dude, it's just so blue. Ugh. All right, so two stage, little tidbit. This refers to basically uh, we've got to roll the window up now. And uh, while we're here, we might as well just kill two birds with one stone. Because we've left we've left the liner on here, so this much of the film is still protected, which like I said doesn't really matter for what we're doing. We'll see if we can, look at that. Look how much easier my liner peels off. I cut these two so they pretty much line up other than up here at the top, but. Splice game week. Not bad though, not bad. So one thing about my film is, uh, as long as you have good clean glass, get a good squeegee, you can, uh, you can basically, 
once the adhesive is set, it's set. Like it's not going to go anywhere. Now, this is kind of the double-edged sword. I have my slip solution mixed up as if I were going to bottom load. So it is a bit slippery. For what we're trying to do right now, but no big deal. Yeah, don't don't laugh. My gaps aren't great. Like I said, it's just a test. It's just a test. Show. That's trying to weep from one side to the other. Like that. It's trying to suck moisture in, so we'll just squeegee them down there. Now I'm actually pretty surprised that this is, like it's actually pretty much locked down. So that's, I, I just, I wouldn't have expected it to be an AutoZone tent. I would have figured it'd have a, a weaker adhesive package, but that's neither here nor there. Uh-oh. Decent adhesive, but. Basically what we're trying to do is tuck it down in the seal. We don't want to let the adhesive touch anything, uh, which again, doesn't really matter for what we're doing, but <coughs> it's just a habit you can't, can't get out of once you're used to it. Much nicer if you ask me. We can cheat and just go out the side here. Uh-oh. It's not exactly what we wanted to do there, but that's okay. Got a little carried away and hit it with the backside of my squeegee right there, so I tried to lift a little bit. Now with my tent, I'm 100% confident I could roll this window down and it would be fine, but we're not going to try it because I don't want to have to cut more of this yellow window tent and deal with that. Uh, if this is a customer's car, we would not allow it to get this wet. We have door panel protectors and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, a bunch of different ways to keep it safe. However, I uh, don't think it's going to hurt this one. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reside outside. Uh, here in just a minute, we'll get some baseline tests. Get the glass nice and clean so we can compare. Um, 
and then we will actually we will probably actually uh, do some tests tomorrow just to let this cure because sometimes when the film is wet it's not completely cured uh, you can get an inaccurate reading so we'll set this outside so there you have it we'll probably take this outside and we'll get a light meter reading on it tomorrow um, give this some time to cure and then uh, in the meantime we take it outside we'll do some photos and you can just really see how blue and I don't like it but point being we've got this one and then we're, we're going side by side against this one we can also use the BTU meter and measure heat difference and then we still have this sliver of glass right here so we can get a baseline uh, you know we know exactly what this glass meter is at which like I said earlier should have done that first doesn't really matter that's why I left it that way this isn't to look pretty it's not to look cool uh, it's strictly just to sit out in the sun and see how fast it fades um, a lot of people think that with you know getting a part store tent or you know Walmart tent whatever they're gonna save themselves some money uh, you saw how hard it was for me to install to get it I mean just peeling the liner and everything uh, is way more difficult than the more expensive film and you're going to waste a lot of this so in the end you're probably going to end up spending the same if not more than if you just take it to a professional and have it done right the first time also something else to keep in mind pretty much every tent shop they charge extra for removals so when you come in with this all bubbled up and faded and peeling and all that that's just more money you're going to have to pay out of your pocket to get your ride looking right so with that said i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching